If you've never heard of this before, it's either going to give you a heart attack or make your eyes light up. Either way, free lensing is a completely innovative way of taking your photograph because your lens isn't even going to be attached to your camera. So what is free lensing exactly? It's not freelancing as a lot of people get confused, but it is a really, really cool trick that's gonna change your photography completely if you're willing to try it out. But given the fact that we love a bit of a challenge here, at eye photography and our boss is out for the day, we're gonna try something a little bit more crazy and a little bit more dangerous. So using a pretty basic camera, what we're gonna try and do is see how we can actually use the lens and the camera when the two aren't attached. I'm hoping to try and kind of capture some really quite ethereal dreamlike shots. Before we begin, I think it's a bit of a quick call to the insurers. <laughs> So we've come outdoors just to explain a little bit more about free lensing. Now, in terms of what you need in terms, like in the way of kit, it's just really simple. It's just effectively a camera and a lens. Obviously ones that detach compact cameras probably aren't gonna work in that instance and smartphones aren't either. But all you really need is just a camera that's gonna be able to take the lens off it. It could be a DSLR, mirrorless camera, an old 35 mil camera you can use. So one thing you've got to look out for when you're using a digital camera, the option to use the shutter when the lens isn't attached to the camera. It's not always a default option and don't always assume it's with every digital camera. Uh, with the Sony one it is, so that's why we're gonna use that. But have a quick look on your camera settings before you try anything like this. So what's the best type of subject to actually photograph for free lensing? Well, in truth and honesty, anything to be honest, because it's not always really about crystal clear quality. Like we said earlier on, it's going to produce a bit of a dreamlike type of photograph. So whether you're photographing in nature, close up shots, landscapes, portraits, it doesn't really matter. Now, I'll say this to begin with, there are two different ways about going through free lensing. There's a safe way and then there's a dangerous way. Let's go with the safe way first. So all I'm doing, I'm just setting my tripod up on the floor. because so this is probably the safest way to actually go about free lensing. I'm just balancing it just so we've got the little spirit bubble in the middle. And I'm actually gonna try and shoot a couple of shots of the trees here. So now we're all set up, we've got everything all arranged. All you need to try and do on your camera is actually find that option to enable the release of the shutter when the lens isn't attached. So on this uh, this camera here, it just says release without shutter and then there's the option of enable and disable. So just make sure it's enabled and that's what's gonna help the camera actually take the shot when the lens isn't attached. So as I said, again, it's just a case of being really, really patient, just holding the lens with one hand and maybe just moving that manual focus ring with the other just to try and get that really kind of out of focus, like bokeh style photograph really. So this is why I say don't necessarily use an expensive camera if you're very, very precious about kind of damaging it. Though we're not obviously damaging it in any way at the minute, there's always the worry, like I said earlier, of the dust getting into the sensor, I mean, which can be cleaned, it's not the end of the world. But appreciate a lot of people spend a lot of money on their cameras and they don't want to endanger them in any way. So we've, we've tried the sensible way of doing it, why not try a slightly more dangerous way of doing it? So the second way of actually trying free lenses is a little bit more dangerous. It's not using a tripod at all, it's just the camera on its own. So I've enlisted Harriet here to basically kind of be our model and we'll try a little bit of a portrait out with it instead, you know, see if we can create a similar ethereal effect. So same practice as before, make sure we've got the camera set so the uh, camera can actually enable the shutter without the lens being attached. And make sure again that you've got an, uh, the option of having manual focus on your lens as well. So the two are going to work together. So 
So there we go, we've given freelancing a try and it is, you know, as much as it's experimental, I quite, I quite like it actually as well. Um, I'll throw a few images up on the screen just so you can see how the final results came out, but as you see, there's a lot of kind of those purple and pink hazes around the photographs, which I said they would be. It makes that image a little bit more dreamlike. I think the portraits probably work a little bit better than the texture shots that we photographed of the tree, but you know, it's something a little bit different to try. As I say, it's maybe not for everybody. You may really like it, may really not, but that's up to you. If you've enjoyed the video overall, I hope you have, then hit the subscribe button, let us know in the comments, tell us if you've tried a bit of freelancing before, what was it like for you? And again, obviously share your shots with us. We'd love to see some of your photography. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the whole world there, and just send us photographs. Love to have a look at them. We'll even try and share some of them out if we get the opportunity. So if you've ever wanted to learn a little bit more about photography, whether it's just to take better snapshots at home, take little better pictures when you go on holiday on your phone, then iPhotography course could be the online training course for you. Find us online, the description's beneath. You can find out about photography, portrait, light tricks. We've got some brilliant courses about Lightroom and Photoshop as well. Everything you need to learn about the world of digital imagery is there for you. But hit the subscribe button as I say, turn the notifications on. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.